What an experience. So one, I am so thankful for you to be willing to share your time with me and everyone else in the group that this is the 12 week year. It is based on a book. It is not necessarily the best book in the whole wide world written, but it is the perfect opportunity for everyone to learn how to consistently and persistently put steps in their lives that lead them towards success. Now, the, what we use the 12 week year is this little handoff. Um, we just send it to you as a PDF. It has a weekly reflection, but it also has just a way to do a scorecard. And that is the critical item. Lots of people, um, as you noticed from group today that have taken the 12 week accountability group before, um, this is easy to ignore, but even if you choose to ignore it, so it's 84 days, it's 84 days that we're gonna get to hang out. And you can kind of do anything for 84 days and you can kind of do everything for, you know, 15 minutes. We use a lot of these Pomodo timers. Um, my lens is not quite picking it up yet. So I'm just gonna keep moving it around until there it is, it found it in view. Uh, this Pomodo timer is just a timer that we can switch and it'll give us an amount of time and we can just put a tactic or a task onto that time and it will give us that piece. The reason that we use this particular timer a lot and the reason people talk about it is it's silent. It's silent and they it can go up to one hour. For those of you, oh, except that beep. And that beep is the time to go, oh, okay, you're done. So in the 12 week year, I'm thankful that you are here. This is, you have tools, you have ideas, and it's just really a great opportunity to not do it alone. Uh, even the people who wrote the book said, you know, this is hard to do on your own. So you really do need an accountability group. And now that I've done this, uh, now that we've had three groups uh, rolling, but we've had multiple groups. So now that I've had six or eight groups of this, the gr you are the key that you are the reason that this group is successful. So participate and participate fully. We have some things that are set up in that group, especially if you have not been in a group like this or you're not used to being somewhere every week at the same time to share in community. It feels awkward at first, but for those of you who have been used to doing things every Sunday, some people went to church, some people went, you know, had a Sunday supper, but anybody that has a rhythm in their life that they understand that there's something that they do weekly and they do that weekly to feed themselves, to feed their inner nourishment, it's easy to get into that rhythm. For people who that is new to, this is a rhythm that you're gonna have to start to learn that there's a time that you get together and share in community. And sharing in community looks like a lot of things. A lot of times you'll see me point to my screen when you see them, they're not recorded live. Uh, because they don't belong to anybody else. They belong to you. And that time is just uniquely that time. It's not for the world to watch later on. It's for you to be present as you. And that's part of why it's a safe place. I don't record them for that reason. And it is a place to openly converse. So a lot of times in class, you'll watch me point to all of the things that are below because you can give feedback immediately. In the first group, we had, we had our first day. We had our first day today. And then in that first day, um, I went through and counted in the chats. We had over a hundred comments in one hour's time. So that means that there's a conversation happening, but there's also all of that support and information that's coming on to the side. The, the reason that that group becomes successful is because the chat bar is active and it's really important to be able to pass information real time. It's all passed publicly so everybody can see your comment. So if you're giving a comment to Jim or Joe or John or Sally or Susan or Mary, um, it, 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 it is up that everyone can see it. And there is, there is something I think very healing and beautiful about watching other people openly give credit, kudos, and ideas to other people. And it makes it, it, it just keeps the environment feeling like it's a safe place to interact. 
many of the groups that I host have had someone that's been in the group more than one time because it's life-changing. It, it, building systems for yourself to succeed is life-changing. And to keep those systems, you have to have accountability partners. We have this idea that we have to do everything alone and that's just silly. It's not, it's not my belief system and I haven't seen it work um, in my community because I build community. So one of the things that I want to kind of just talk about quickly and the wisdom that I can give to you on your first day is thank you for showing up. It's a tough thing to show up. It's an early morning. Some of you are coming in um, two hours earlier or later than the other. So you're all in different time zones. And that's kind of fabulous. This is uh, an eclectic group. And it's always an eclectic group because people are so interesting. And you have um, some things that I wanted to, I, I wrote some notes on the things I wanted to make sure. One is if you're new to the group, it is to remind you that the chat box is a real thing. So we are actively in that chat box, plan to contribute to the chat box. There is a Facebook page. And that Facebook page is also a place where you can put ideas, you can support each other, but you can also show your progress. And that part's really fun. And it's also fun to see you achieving. And it's another way for you to, if you are an introvert, to be able to contribute, but it's also a way to just view other things. It's also a place where I put a lot of additional information. So a lot of times I'll put book recommendations there or other just tips or tools that, that are helpful. A lot of you have similar tasks. Uh, we have a lot of people that start off that group with three really big things that they're trying to achieve. But by week six, they've probably honed it down to one. So if you are feeling overwhelmed in the very beginning, don't worry about it. Pitch two, put them on hold, pick the one that you want to work with and do that. Because when people are working through this process, you're just learning how to do the process, not necessarily the outcome. You want the outcome and the outcome will come because if you work on something every single day, it will work. It will work because it's top of mind. It has your energy, it has your attention and it will work. So use that. But the chat does a lot. The chat, you, we use it for tips. Uh, sometimes there's just a fast question and you, you all are smart. So you all have great ideas that you do. And some of you are further along in just that one area than the other person is. So you can also put in things. So the chat is also a way to connect live, real time. It's also a way to validate somebody else's items or to validate what you've heard. Sometimes when I'm writing something down and it's so good, sometimes I'll watch somebody else put it in the chat because they caught it. Now, not everyone is great at listening and writing something down. So when you hear something great and you put it up in the chat, that's a validation. But it's also a way for us to connect to the words. The person who's saying it isn't writing their own greatness into the chat box. So sometimes a lot of people are writing something that someone said that's great. Well, one of the ways that you can validate that for everyone who didn't have a chance to write it down is to pop it into the chat box so we can look at it again and make sure we heard it the same way. And the other thing that the chat box does is it allows us to add tips for people. Hey, look at this. Sometimes people are adding links. So the chat box is an active, active part of our one hour. We have one hour together. And our first day goes over because it's it, we just have to do introductions. but. After that, we will pop off in an hour really quickly. The other thing that we do in that chat box is every time you're there is to put in what you're working on so that everybody can, can view what you're doing even if they tapped in later. So a lot of times what you are saying is particularly moving to another person or it is resonating with them. So they're writing stuff down, but they may not always remember what it is, is that you're working on. So it helps people connect the dots in your life and they can pay attention to what their resonance is with your journey. 
And yet they can kind of look back into that chat box and go, oh yeah, she's working on this. So it also is a way for people to help you. So in the chat box every day, when you come in, you're going to kind of sign in to remember, hey, this is, my name is so-and-so, and these are the three projects I'm working on, or anything else that you think would be helpful for people to know. In that chat box, it is a way for also somebody to kind of go back and go, oh, I, I lost what they were doing. So it's it's important to use the chat box. So when you're new to the group, the chat box feels awkward and weird. And a lot of people are used to Zoom and we are on um, Google. And we're on Google just because it's been better for us, that um, it, it just works better. And it can come in the invite and you can click back to it. It, it just works better. So that's why we chose Google for that reason. So the chat box is a big deal. The other thing that's a keystone here is really understanding why you're doing the 12-week year. Many of you may have some real just goals or things that were hard to do alone, but it is to learn how to experience success daily. And, and learning to experience success daily means you have to write it down. You have to have a workbook. You have to check in every day. So it has these reflections, but it has the scorecard. And the scorecard is, I believe, I've done this. I'm doing it at the same time that you are doing it. So, so the, sometimes you'll see me add in, like, what am I cooking this week? Or you'll see me do meal planning. That meal planning was a really big deal for me. It, it, it was something that um, is a key for me to be able to manage as many projects as I'm managing. And I used to manage our meal planning by just eating out every single night. And it just didn't, it, it felt better. Um, well, the fact is, is that I'm a good cook. So if I just planned it a little bit differently, we could actually eat healthier and spend, you know, about the same, you know, we, we ate about, we share meals a lot, but it was just a better fit. It's a better fit to just go down and have something ready. So a lot of times you'll see me share on meal planning, but it is building systems in your life that are supportive of this season of your life. You'll often hear us talk about seasons, that many of you had systems that worked for you in the past, but it's different now. Your life is different. You are different. This is a group of people who are a creative achievers in a multitude of ways. So these are, you are people that have tried stuff, you have systems, you do read, you do do interesting things. So it is really paying attention to the season of your life that is now and the emotional space that you're able to create in at this time. So welcome to week one. Uh, the other thing that I was going to remind you again, right? So we have the time tasked. Some people are using timers to, to do their tasks and others people are just doing tasks based on the day. If I get this done sometime today, it's right for you. Some people really do need that timer. You'll decide. Some days it feels like that. Another thing that people talked about today was kind of the drop-down method. And the drop-down method is really in that first few weeks where you start to um, just kind of take a pen and paper and and look at all start, look at all the tactics that you think would work to get you to your success. So an example for a fitness goal may be a tactic might be just taking the dog for a walk around the block um, to get your steps in or to just take a take a walk during the, the day. I had a steps goal that was around physical flights of stairs for my knees to strengthen my knees. So I wanted to make sure that I did 12 flights of stairs every day. And so I had to just go, look, I don't care when I get them done. I just have to get them done. So I, you know, take every break I have and go up and down the stairs twice. It's that's a tactic, right? To just use my break to walk up and down two flights of stairs uh, or to stop taking escalators. And a drop down menu is to say, I'm going to write down all of the tact, all of the tech, all of the ways that I can achieve something that would lead me to that outcome. So if I'm trying to get 12 flights of stairs in, it's take the escalator. I mean, I mean, not take the escalator, take the stairs. If I'm in a shopping mall, if I'm in a hotel, if I'm visiting my mom, that use the stairs. It's so simple. But some of you have morning routine 
ideas that you want. And those morning routines are to really say, look, you may have a meditation, you may have an exercise goal, you may have a multitude of things that you want to get done in the morning. Um, put them in, in as all strategies that you can use and then pick out which one you want to use that way. So a drop down menu is to really say, here's my category of what, what will work to get me to my outcome. Another thing that I like about day one is you get to hear how other people have been successful and the ways that they have evolved. If this is your first time, you'll just start learning. If it's your second time, you will build on the skills that you got from your first time. If it is your third time, you will build on the skills that you did let go of and then had to repick up because that is the process of accountability. It will change as you evolve. And, and so just be generous with yourself on what is the evolution that you're going to have. And sometimes that evolution is an emotional response that I'm gonna be glad and excited to try new things and to measure my success and to be able to check off, yes, I kept that promise to myself. So when you are there, uh, be yourself. Be yourself, uh, use the chat box, speak your truth. If you're having a tough time, if you're not having a tough time, if you're whatever that is, this is the group to do that. And they will reward you by being themselves. And that is the reward is, is that if you be yourself, it makes it a lot easier for everyone else to be themselves. So we wanna hear you laughing. We wanna hear your response. We want those snaps. We do a lot of snaps. And uh, it, it's, it's just a fun place to be. So I thank you. I thank you for being willing to change your life. I thank you for being willing to just be you. And I thank you for all of the magic that you are bringing to the table. So congratulations on week one. And I will see you next week in week two. Bye.